Good morning, everyone. So we look at another Bagani design watch. Uh, this actually comes at a request. I've been asked to look into the Bagani design Batman and see what I think. So I'm going to get on with that today. So initial look at the box. It's a simple fold-over style lid with the gold sort of Bagani design embossing in the top there. Very nice sort of stylish box. Good amount of finish to it. Quite light in weight. Revealing a sort of a lightish, pinkish, white style top part of the lid. With the Pagani Design watches, you usually get a nice um, cleaner for your watch. A little uh, adjustment screwdriver. It's usually something you might get in a Christmas cracker. You don't often see it um, stored in such a way, usually it's laid flat. Nice, uh, not a big fan of these um, sort of fabric waste style cushions but it does the job and more element of quality on the actual watch obviously you've got your you've got your tag here i think they should be on the watch really but all the same so here we go guys this is the Bugatti design batman gmt with a 40 millimeter case diameter 14 millimeter case thickness this is the pd1662 Retails £110, Pro Ray weighs 180, 170 grams roughly. It runs on an automatic movement and the automatic movement is unfortunately from China. It is a Pell, o, um, it's a Pell OG5833 GMT movement. Looking, so let's have a look at the face in a bit more detail. So the face is obviously a pure black face there with fully luminous increments, fully luminous hands. Following the same sort of inspiration as a sort of a Rolex GMT. Inside the actual face, there's no sort of markings for the brand inside there or a serial number that you might expect from a or that you might expect from a uh, real Rolex. There's no sort of laser etching on the glass either. <coughs> the glass is a synthetic sapphire. Bugatti Design uses a synthetic sapphire style. I think that I don't know what that is. Probably in between mineral and actual sapphire glass. The watch is fully anti-magnetic and uses a 100 meter water resistance to it and fully shock resistant according to their specs. Let's have a look at the bezel. So the bezel is quite a thick bezel relative to other sort of GMTs. It's got a decent clicker to it. It is unidirectional. There's not a lot of play when you turn it back the other way, which is a good thing. It, it's well defined, good movement on the clicker. There's, so you can see there, there's not much play when I'm turning it back. So I turn it once, and then turn it, I can't really turn it back, which is good. It shows a good demonstration of a, a decent clicker underneath there. It's a very nice bold blue design here, and very nice blue to the GMT hand that covers those hands nicely. Come around to the, uh, the casing. You've got a full stainless steel casing on the outside here, full polished finish all the way around here. As well, no markings on the actual side of the watch for like the brand. But put that back in this position. Let's have a look at the crown. So the crown's a screw down crown, as you can see here. It's got a very nice winder. Doesn't feel cheap, it feels nice and solid. First position. An excellent dial there, to be fair, considering it's a uh, a Chinese uh, homage watch is uh, quite a decent clicker to the date dial and it's, it jumps into place which is a nice one, I quite like that. Second position, a little bit crunchy going into second position but that's probably just luck. No it was just luck, uh, it's got, oh I'm in first position I think here. Yeah. And it's actually a move of the GMT hand around. There you go, decent move to the GMT hand there. Second position, yeah well it's almost like there's a little position in between the two positions at the end there. It just feels a little bit crunchy when you pull that out, but it's not too not too bad. Decent movement to the hands there, a little bit a little bit quick, but it's uh, there's decent there's an element of quality there. It's a nice thick skeleton to the actual crown. Let's screw that back down in place. Very, very stylish, very nice colour as well. So coming down to the strap, the strap is a Jubilee star strap, 20 millimeters in width. Again, very, very common size for a Jubilee strap. 
adjustable by little tiny pins. I said, was it pins or is it screws? No, it's little tiny screws on the side here. Sometimes you get pins, sometimes you get screws. Depends entirely on the brand you have. Come down to the buckle. A nice Begay design printed buckle there on the end. A nice stainless steel finish system in here with sort of two levels of stainless steel. So you've got a matte finish and a polish finish in there. That's quite a nice system there. No sort of markings or anything like that. Yeah, it's got a very nice click down. Probably just the right amount of weight that you need for a click down. Feels a little bit cheap, the buckle though. Let's have a look, sit actually inside the uh, clasp, see if there's an easy link system. You do have an easy link system. So you do have an easy link system on the, on the PA design. Nice. Let's hold that back in place. And it clicks down really, really nicely. It doesn't feel like the bolt's going to fall out when you do that sometimes. Look at the back plate. Here you go, so this is a review of the skeleton style back plate here. Full review of that 20, is it 21 jewel? Let's have a little look, what's it say on here? Can't see it. Yeah, I can't, I can't see if it's 21 jewel or not. Overall, so it is a nice back plate, nice screw down effect with a view of that movement inside there. So there we go guys, that is the Pagani Design Batman GMT.